Let's pray together. Our most gracious, loving, and above all, Holy Father, we humbly bow ourselves before you as this legislative day begins. And each of us seek to serve not only his or her constituency, but also the greater good and the cause of this great state. As we stand here before you, we are reminded of our solemn duty spoken of by the prophets of old and the writers of the New Testament to love mercy, to fight for justice, to walk humbly with you, and to ensure the safety and well-being of all those we have been set apart to serve. In light of this high calling of public service, may each in this hall take to heart and then to action all that is necessary to serve every Texan, to make sure they are provided ample opportunity to pursue and live out all that he or she has been called designed and gifted by you as creator God to be in this life. As your scriptures tell us that we will always have the poor and needy among us, we ask you for the grace to do what is necessary and needful for those least able to help themselves, but also likewise the courage to expect more from those who are capable of so much more than what they currently believe about themselves. As the scriptures remind us to whom much is given, much is required. Let us give much, serve much, and expect much as individual citizens, leaders, and as a state. We ask you for the wisdom and the courage to demand and provide for justice where justice is due, to deliver the results of justice without waiver. As the scriptures remind us that we must never call what is wicked good, nor must we call what is good wicked, let us find the simplicity of right and wrong in all matters of service to this state and its great good. Finally, we ask you for the wisdom and the grace as well as the courage to walk in humility towards you and in respect of the role each person in this house serves. May they never lose sight of the fact that you are the creator of life and liberty, and it is indeed to you that each must give an accounting of the public stewardship entrusted to each one serving in the capacity of the public good. May we humbly remember in this service of leadership that many Texans have taken to heart the admonition of the Apostle Peter to pray for many members of this house and their subsequent wisdom and actions in this high calling of public service. May each in this serve in such a way as to be an example to all who might take notice and in legacy delivered through the actions of this hall today and in weeks to come. As we are instructed by the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians, we present all of these requests in the name of the resurrected Son of God, our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.